Hey guys, how are you doing tonight? I'm back with more Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, this is, if I am thinking correctly, episode 20. Um, and we're here to just record a bit, let you know what I've been up to on here. Um, so, let's just begin. First, look at that. Only Spain and Italy pizza are <laughs> in the Euro Cup. So, no one won my contest. It's kind of sad. And I know I said in the last video that uh, if Pedro wins, or Cha, or whatever, um, I'm going to donate 5 euros in his name and 5 euros of my own. And I'm still going to scratch some money together and give to Farland the bus, but not in his name. Too bad, sucker. Yeah, Italy played. Italy deserved the win. They played way better. Hey, anyway, how you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't fuck with me. See? You already forgot. Dude, you got to work on your long-term memory. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, 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 that's that's cool, you know. Getting some updates on Euro. Uh here we have a present from Pedro and I still haven't looked at it. And he's on but chat is muted right now. Just uh won't be disturbed by eventual people that are coming on. So what does Pedro have to give to us? Oh, a book! Nice, let's read that. He said it's not really good, I shouldn't read it on camera, but... Hey then, I was trying to check out how the wiring behind the dispenser was, and there was a creep there, <laughs> and fucked it up. I'm sorry about that, too bad, I don't have any goodies to give you back from a mistake. But when I get something that I think you would enjoy, I'll give it to you. Meanwhile, you can always ask me for something that I'll give... No... They give you no problem. Anyway, sorry, man. Hey, that's no problem. I, I kind of realized that this only gives me one now, and it used to give me like a. Get the book back there. It used to give me like uh, five or so, but uh, that's cool. That's cool. Ask Adrian, Ja, if you're watching. He did that. He did that. Um. This is my miscellaneous chest. And oh yeah, I got I got a few levels. Let's enchant a pickaxe. Pickaxe is where all the rage is at. So I uh, don't have sticks. Gonna get me some sticks. I'm running low on wood these days. Okay, so let's have sticks and let's have a diamond pickaxe because I'm. I'm doing some shoveling, and I w always get some silk touch or fortune two. I want to have something good to work with. Let's see here, silk touch. Ah, uh, that's not bad. I mean, if I carve out a mountain, which I'm going to do in future times, that'll come in handy. I won't have to smelt any f smooth stone. That means I won't get the XP. I'm not so sure I like that. Uh, I I got the same pick over there. Oh no, this is fortune. That's the new one, silk touch. Right now I'm working with a fortune too, just because I found this in a chest in a random chest, and I know it's mine. I put it there, <laughs> just forgot. So that was a cool coincidence. I got fortune, 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 non-breaking two. That's kind of fucked up. Silk touch with only efficiency 3, okay, silk touch, the same I got just now, fortune 1, unbreaking, and a fortune 1 with unbreaking, oh well, I heard the cave sound, where the hell is that dark spot at, oh well, who cares, oh it's night, I bet he wants to sleep, let's see if he's in the nether or the end, I don't think so, he's been working in the overworld, but yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. 
That's cool. What? Um. Where did I put that stuff I was just mining? Oh yeah, here it is. I uh, got some mossy stone bricks, some cracked stone bricks. So, uh, you know where I've been working. And I'm gonna show you how it looks now. I've done a little thing. <sighs> Sorry, I had to drink that. I'm really thirsty. Because it's freaking hot over here, man. 32 degrees. No, 33 actually it was it was today. So, not the most pleasant of... Oh, I just got a text from Adrian, also known as Eisuchtel. I'm gonna check that out in a second, but yeah, it was freaking hot. Went to swim in the lake, uh, it was pretty nice. So, uh, if you are interested in that sort of thing, that's good. And let me read the text from... Uh, Adrian, he sent me a picture. Um. Oh, oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. I'm um, sorry I can't say hello. I really am. But I have it turned to mute. Oh, I can, I can look at it. Hey. Cannot send chat. Ah, okay. Well, it's hidden. You can't send chat messages. That's new to me, but... Apparently it is like that, but here's what the portal room looks like right now. I'm thinking of going half slabs I think that would look quite neat and I know Adrian watches most of my videos same as I do with his and So I'm sorry. I can't respond to you. I tried I tried so uh, oh <laughs> the text message I'm gonna uh, that was um, about the tags in the video answers of Dark Wizard. I uh, know he subbed to me as well. So if you're watching this, you apparently wrote great Minecraft server. <laughs> and that's, that's really flattering. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that it's a video answer to the, the, the co oh, 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 lag. Whenever I enter the nether, it's weird. Like, let's let's take this dude on. Goodbye, Sisto. Um. Anyway, apart from that, contest is still running. By the way, if you want a chance to check out our server, uh, go. Oh, I'm I'm glad they. Oh, I'm glad they're not mad at me. Um. Oh, hey, I still. I bet he's gonna punch me. No? No? Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I can't let him know I'm recording right now. It's kind of bad. So, this is what I've been doing. I've been working on my nether tunnel. Just, you know, because we can. Uh, it's quite sexy. Um, I'm going to write him a text. He's trying to out ender pearl me here. I wrote him. We're gonna see what he writes back. Uh, <laughs> the rival station is not really great. But, oh well. We're gonna live. So we still have to run this part. Um, I'm planning on doing rails here. It's just, wow, it's... Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Let's continue. It's just that it's really resource hungry. It took me like probably uh let me do some quick math. Six times one and a half is nine. About ten stacks of sandstone. Uh no no, even more. Two and a half times six. That's that's uh, that's a uh, fifteen, fifteen stacks of sandstone just to finish the tunnel, because it's about about one hundred and fifty blocks long, just that part, and this is even longer. So um oh yeah, I'm I was just reading 
text from Eisuchtel. But anyway, here we are at my portal, you know it. Um, ooh, it's still night. Ooh, it's dangerous, dangerous parts of town. Uh, this is my new home. Let's add a pearl over. Let's get some more on the bar. So this was this is what I've been working on. And I think it looks pretty neat. Oh, lag! Wow, what's with the lag? Around these parts of town. Uh, <laughs> I have this freaking tree in my way. Gonna take that down. Just uh, haven't had the chance to get to it yet. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here with the mountain. I'll show you what I did on the other side. But um, this is how I've been treating my wall. There's going to be like... Oh, the creeper wants a piece of... Okay, you can be in my movie, dude. Just behave, dude. Behave! Oh, he didn't see me through the wines. Thank goodness. Oh, it's getting day. So, uh, this is this is how I, I like to look. Um, There may be like little things on here. Uh, I'll maybe smooth out the transitions when I'm going up and down hills just like here you know it's pretty smooth over here it's probably what I do all around just try that on the this bridge and it looks good it's just that it's really bulky over here compared to here so I have to work a little bit on that but you know it's coming along it's coming along I can uh, walk this this uh, whole wall now. <laughs> I love it. While I was working on it, I, I really felt like I was walling off East Berlin <laughs> during the Cold War here. <laughs> I know it's not a, uh, <laughs> a topic to make jokes about, but <laughs> it really felt that way. And it's all over now, so really. Don't matter too much. Uh, got some stuff here. I got uh, an ender chest here, of course. Uh, let me actually take some of some shifting is not work. Ah, of yeah, yeah. Ah no, sorry, sorry, my bad. Uh, let's have some of this stuff going. Yep. So this is the look I'm going for. Uh, the wall is pretty much... Uh, I don't really like that. I may make it more gradual. Like a higher wall down here. Not too sure about that yet. It doesn't look good to me. Just this huge diagonal wall. So... I may change it. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it's just... Everywhere it's like more flat and more gradual. You know, even here it has some parts, but down here it goes just like a, up a slope. And that's more. And I have spires. Yeah, I gotta light up the inside of this. I don't plan on being in there ever. So that's not really a huge deal. Just been working my way around here. Took tons of time. And tons of resources, and this doesn't look good. Uh, do I have jungle wood? No, but I got, I got this. Okay, okay. Psst, hear that? Hear that? Zombies down below. Gotta light it up. And here we have uh, what I want to do whenever my wall hits a mountain, because I went through there and I'm still gonna keep the wall inside the mountain because as you know I have plans to carve out the mountains I'm not gonna go up there that's the waste of time but I'm gonna carve out the mountains and I'm gonna have a wall in there just to have some sort of house maybe I'll take down this mountain a little bit just because it seems like something and same with that mountain over there. It seems like it's too extreme to be in my fort. I'm gonna I'm gonna incorporate the mountain. 
of course, I'm gonna have like maybe a. I don't know if you've seen Captain Sparkle's Fallen Kingdom. Is it? I'm not sure. The video parody of Viva La Vida, and he has like a fortress in the mountains, and I'm gonna go for like that kind of feel with that, but it's too high right now. And here's just what I'm gonna do over here. I'm saying here a lot, aren't I? <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna have some towers here. If you ever watched CoStar, I said before that I'm inspired by his fort, fortress. So, he had this one big, big, big kind of tower le leading to the side of a mountain and I'm gonna let myself inspire by that or get inspired so here's what we have we're gonna have a little a little like a tower you know a vantage point it's not gonna be really massive but it's gonna come up a few blocks and I'm gonna I'm gonna tear down a bit of this so I can incorporate uh cracked and mossy stone bricks. Because it just looks too flat right here, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I know it'll look great, so don't worry. It's kinda hard to do a random random kind of pattern by hand I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and this is will only be for like the the down downstairs part like this high uh, up there I'm gonna have like a really polished tower uh, maybe maybe even have some patterns in there with smooth stone but it's just like the base, you know, never been worked on and oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that a lot. Gonna have some more in here. Just oh yes. Yes. Oh oh what's up? Oh ho, 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 you scared the shit out of me. Oh but Jesus Wow Oh, <laughs> that's that's making for great video right there. And I don't know about the entrance yet. Oh wow, thanks, thanks so much. But I'm gonna have some stuff tossed out. Yay! Can't thank you in chat, but thank you very much for the speed post. I mean, um. I'm building right here, so I <laughs> can't really use them, but... Oh well. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. Uh... Oh yeah, he says it's good for the nether. Oh, it sure is. Whenever I have to travel, I'll be thinking of you. Suchtel. Hi, Suchtel. Oh, this looks natural, doesn't it? Uh, we're gonna have to take this down and replace it with... Ah! <laughs> replace it with the same thing. Yeah, sure. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go! Um, I like it. So, uh, this... Oh, man, you're, you're confusing me, dude. You're confusing me. Let's just have, like, this going on. For the, uh... Okay. Oh, in the in the floor. I haven't even thought. Oh yes. Let's get some. M oh, that's not good. Let's get some mossy in there. Mm -hmm. And I know building episodes are not the most fun to just watch, you know, and talk and listen to me talk about what I'm doing. It's it's more of a gives me time to talk about stuff I want to talk kind of thing. Uh, I don't need the zombie flash really. I don't know why I didn't toss that earlier. 
And he seems to be gone now. That's... Oh, there he is. There he is. I can't opt to find in on him, but... He seems to be having a good time on my wall. You know, because... This guy... All in all, he's just not breaking the wall. Haha! <laughs> I reference Pink Floyd. Yep, that's how I do. I'm not sure about the back here. If I should... Go ahead and carve it out. I bet I should. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, nothing. So what I just said is it, this this type of video is giving me a chance to talk about stuff, and of course I watch Let's Plays. I mean that's how I got into the whole ordeal. But um. thing is people have been talking about their um video game background people like Kurt and B double O Kurt J Mac um that is so I'm gonna talk about my video background so I'm turning twenty one in oh let me calculate that it's Friday now and that's one t in ten days July 9th my birthday get something nice for me please <laughs> <laughs> ah no 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 uh, I don't expect anything of course how could I even and that would be ridiculous now it's my birthday soon and it's just a uh, uh, chance to say I'm 21, that's mainly why I announced that even. And my video game experience, I think, I'm not sure about this, but because one thing you gotta know about me, I'm really bad at remembering things. You major life events, I just, I, I can't remember them. You know, I have a really bad long-term memory. But anyway, um, I think, I think it was... Uh, what can I toss bones, really? I'd rather have the stone here. I think it was... Math Blaster, the first game I ever played, really. And... For people who don't know Math Blaster, ooh, scary music. I need more jungle wood for this. Um, yeah, for people who don't know Math Blaster, it's as you can probably hear from the title, it's a math game. You had to do calculations, and you had to do them quick. So, mm, I think I'm gonna go around here. So, uh, you had different levels of math, and you had to do different things, you know. Um, the game wasn't just about solving Uh, math problems, but it was also about gameplay. That was it was really cool at the time because I don't know. I kind of like math. I know many people don't, but I do. I do. I, th I think it's quite interesting. It's it's useful at times. Oh, that's not good. So uh, I don't have anything against math. That's the first game I played was on a diskette. Is that the English word? Oh no, a floppy. A floppy. It was on a floppy disk. That's the English word. So, <laughs> I don't know how many of you used floppy disks. And that's how I got into gaming. And that was really just a... A learning kind of game. I mean, it still was fun. But 
it wasn't like you know gaming gaming the first game I really got into is on my Game Boy Color I got uh, Super Mario Land 3 slash Wario Land I think it was um, it was kind of a mixed thing Wario and Mario it was kind of weird but that's the first thing I have and I remember it was Christmas when I got my Game Boy and <laughs> it was just like oh man I sat outside you know family was oh he's gone goodbye goodbye Ja <laughs> my family was sitting in a in the in the living room you know around the tree and I was just just outside you know in the door frame playing the first few levels and I had the best freaking time and I was so sad when my mother came come on you can you can play again tomorrow let's uh, let's have some some dessert and I was like no I don't want a dessert I want to play on my game boy I love it so much let's get some jungle but let's do that <laughs> so that's my first like gaming gaming experience then I mean I just I had fun with this Wario Land game it just wasn't really you know I wasn't into the the gaming aspect I just kinda liked like the levels and I mean I guess that's what gaming is about but but still what I mean is I didn't appreciate the gaming aspect of it just uh just the fun part, you know. Oh, Farchingtons! How did I not see that coming? Why did my voice suddenly get that high pitched? No. I gotta light up the inside of my realm, don't I? Uh, get out dirt. Hey, got some jungle wood right here. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's how I, really how I started gaming. But, yeah, the first game I really appreciated for, like, every aspect of it was Legend of Zelda. Uh, here, the Ocarina of Time. That was my first real game, and yes... Nintendo 64, it's quite old, but that's really the first game I was like, oh man, that's awesome. And I was just playing it for hours. I never finished it to this day, I gotta admit. I stopped at the Gerudo Fortress. I tried to do it in um I think last year but just didn't really have the time and then I got I got uh, distracted and never played it. I may even do a let's play one of these days of it. But uh don't don't take my word for that. But yeah, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time is the first game I really got into and for that it always has a, a special place in my heart. That's how I got into gaming. You know, it's pretty early gaming, so I'm not like a total new when it comes to old school games. But <laughs> that's so much fun. I need, I need sapling. Yes, that's what I'm really after. But yeah, the second second game I really got into is Super Mario 64. I I finished that two times now. Um, of course, Mario Kart was a big deal. And by the way, I I played on the Super Nintendo system, so this NES. My friend had that, and we played some. A few rounds of Mario Kart back in the day, and Mario Kart is still a game. I played the DS version, 
I played the Wii version, I played the GameCube version. I'm pr I fancy myself a pretty good Mario Kart player. So even if I'm not, I just think I am. But that's my multiplayer experience really. And thing is Oh ho 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 ho, ho I heard you. I heard you coming. You don't you didn't scare me. Uh yeah, so that's that's how I got into gaming and for me gaming is uh kind of multiple things. First of all, for me it's a way to of course now that the videos it's a way to express myself and and that's pretty cool and I'm I'm really thankful that I can do that. But also what it is is to me it's a way to escape the everyday, you know the the sorrows you have the the things you think about, you know, what whatever it is. I mean, I have a friend that was in a hospital right now. Nothing too serious. Uh, don't worry. But I mean, I kind of thought about her a few times, and games give me a distraction, and it, it it takes me to a world that I don't have to worry. Of course, I mean, sometimes it's 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 really stressful and. Okay, I got enough saplings now, and it's n it's not always pure fun, but in in the end, it's always a real a relief, you know, from from the real world. It just you you get out and and you experience something and you get immersed in it, and that's when you don't have to to be in that reality that can be cruel. I'm glitching over here. What the hell? Can't get up my wall now. Build it too good, too well. Too good, too well. I don't know. Yeah, so that that's a, th a huge part of gaming. Just a. Oh, am I alone now? Oh no no. Oh, dies here. It's just you know, a home away from home. I. I can describe it as, and that's that's really cool. That's really cool. Oh, hello, hello. Having some trouble. Okay, that looks nice. I'm gonna have the upstairs now. And also, gaming for me is is not just it's not just about the gameplay. It's also about ex experiencing things you know it's not it's not reality of course we know that we gamer know that even if we like to pretend we don't we, uh, we're kind of getting low on on the cracked oh no no that doesn't belong there yeah we like to pretend that this is this is a good reality to be in even though of course we know it's not but that doesn't matter at all. It's, it's, it's like something we can really enjoy. You know, we make our own reality. That's that's kind of the beauty of gaming. So that's pretty much how I got into it and how I feel about it. I mean, it's a big part of my life. I would consider myself a, quote unquote, gamer. I know. The image of the gamer has changed with things like Angry Birds and just these casual games. There's been a new kind of gamer on the block and you know many people many people say oh no they're not real gamers they're j j j just into the casual games but really that's that's kind of elitist to say and it's kind of a thick thing to say because I mean, they enjoy games, just enjoy different games. They're not any less of a gamer. They're not a hardcore gamer. Yes, I give you that. But still, they can call themselves gamer. They play games. That's that's what a gamer is. 
And to me, being a gamer, I mean, I like to fancy... I like to, to fancy myself a hardcore gamer. Because I play the quote-unquote hardcore games, you know. Oh, that wasn't that good of a throw. I play the, I play the shooters. I, I, I uh, take pride in having a positive KD ratio. Probably something casual gamers don't even know what what it means. <laughs> oh yeah, that that looks better. Less uh, square, even though it still is. But yeah, it's, um, that's kind of the the thing I want to talk about. That it's my gaming background. Hey, that doesn't seem fitting for a tower. What the hell is this? Let's have a line in here so nothing spawns and close it up. Um, this wall seems awfully chaotic here. I'm gonna work on that. Oh, this needs to be fixed immediately. I'm gonna work on that, you know, have some... I don't know what I'll have, but I'll have something there. Just so it's uh, a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Um, I think I rambled on enough for right now. I mean, I still oh, fudge. I still have a lot of work to do. But I also have a lot of time. So... That said, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Yep, still gonna work on this, and then first project I can probably give you a sneak peek. I'm gonna carve out this mountain a bit, have a home here, you know, where I can store some some stuff. I can uh, where I can uh, have a kind of a base setup. Oh yeah, this looks good. This looks good. And the tower is going to be like this perimeter just adjacent to the to the wood and it's probably going to come up about to this height. So, I don't know, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 probably about 15 blocks something like that. Same on this side here. Uh, let me show you real quick. Hey um, here is going to be probably a bridge to a tower because this is this is going into the mountain side. I have feather falling, and I have ocean. Nice. Yep. This is really going into a mountain, so I'm gonna make a tower here as well. I'm gonna connect it on the insides and do like secret stuff. You know, maybe behind pictures or a throne that opens up to a secret location. I don't know yet. But that's my plans, and after I get that going, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, of course we'll work on it. Oh, this looks nice. This looks quite nice. I may even get some bricks out of there just to have a more 3D feel to it. Uh, maybe some stairs just to have some shadows on there, some contrast. Because it looks nice up close, but from here it looks too blocky. But anyway, that shouldn't shouldn't concern you because I'm gonna I'm gonna do good here. I'm gonna do real good. I have a good feeling about this project. Again this mountain is probably gonna come down to like this sort of level. I'm gonna see about that. And that's 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 really it for now. Nothing else to do right now. Well I have stuff to do of course but not on video. Because also I'm I'm running out of stuff to talk. So, again, thank you guys very much for watching, as always. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, Zs!